Hey everyone, it's Dr. Hillary from Rangeline Chiropractic. I'm here with my friend Jenny. Hey Jenny. Hey. He is going to talk to us today about Reiki. She's located in Broad Ripple and I've known her for many years and used her services personally. So I'm so excited for her to share with you guys like what is Reiki, who would use it, and more about your new space in Broad Ripple. So Jenny, take it away. Tell us about yourself. Okay. Well, Hillary, thank you so much for having me on and being able to talk about what I love, which is um, working with people to um, dig in and find what is their best self and how to bring it out into the world. And I'm fascinated um, with energy medicine. I'm fascinated with dream work, um, variety of different coaching and also Reiki. And I combine that all together. And I feel like that is a really good um, avenue for people to explore different aspects of themselves to bring out their self. So I have started Balanced Soul, which is located in Broderpool. And if you know Broderpool, it's right off the Monon. I'm 6510 Cornell. And if you know Broderpool even better, I'm next to the Brew Pub. So anyways, um, and I have a lovely space there and I, I actually start seeing clients April 3rd. So um, anyone can come in and make some appointments with me. Um, so you wanted to talk a little bit more about Reiki and um, Reiki was started by Dr. Mikao Usui and I'm hoping. I'm pronouncing that correctly in Japanese. Well, and I wouldn't know any different, so I would say like, that sounds beautiful. And it was about the 19, 1900s, and it's basically a Japanese form of energy healing. And the belief is that all humans, all animals, and some people believe plants, have an energy field around them, which is basically related to um, some, like China, China, in China, they call it chi. Um, other, um, I'm trying to think of some of the different ways that people describe energy, but it's basically our soul for many. It's what keeps us alive. And so, Reiki is a way of tuning into the body and the body's energetic level. So, it's different than massage. Massage goes into the tissue and the, and the soft tissue and all of that, the muscle. Reiki is right above that. So, a Reiki practitioner like myself is going to hover above the body. You're not gonna to be touched. Maybe a little bit of light here or there, but it's basically reading the energy levels in the body and helping to find blocks or places um, where maybe the energy is not flowing. And so the, the practitioner is working with the client to help open up those avenues. That's a good explanation. Um, whenever I explain it to patients, I'm like, it has a lot to do with your energy. And then I get stuck. I'm like, and, but you should go see her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like a lot of patients I think of before I send them to you would be someone that um, has a lot of like stress going on in their life. Like hello, 99% of the population right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Coming out of COVID, everyone probably needs a re reattunement. <laughs> and your animals. <laughs> um, what other types of clients do you see the most besides like those stressed out? Um, so the way that Reiki works, um, it can go along with any type of modality. So um, it's fantastic with chiropractic. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be there. Let's say there's a person who maybe is going through chemotherapy or is seeing a Western physician for certain um, chronic conditions, anything that that's going on that they're being in treatment for, Reiki is a great tandem um, modality in that it just enhances in the the energy level to heal faster, to heal better. Um, so I will see people who sometimes maybe have a broken leg, broken arm. Um, I have seen people who are being treated uh, with chemotherapy, just ways to help heal the body and balance it. I like it. And I think mm -hmm. another one you mentioned to me before too is um, depression. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, which is a lot going on right now. I think with people being um, at home or losses or um, missing people and interaction, right? I mean, I've heard a yeah. lot more of um, depression cases and of course, anxiety going up lately too. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, you know, I do think obviously from the horrible year we all have had, it's just a reset. We need a reset energetically, emotionally, physically, mentally. Um, and I, Reiki really has a way of doing that. It's not a thinking thing. It's a, it's a body thing. It's a soul thing. And I also use a technique called a biomat with all my, my clients who are participating in Reiki, which is another tool to help release the body into a deeper state of relaxation. Mm -hmm. And um, I find that to be really helpful. Yeah, you have a lot of other options. Thank so when you guys go to her website, you'll see like different <laughs> options and stuff like that. Um, but before we get all these options, what would someone expect um, from a session with you? Like during the session, obviously there's no touching really. Right, um, right. And what should they expect after an ass a session with you? Sure. So um, people ask me how they should dress and what they should expect. And uh, my big thing is just be comfortable. You know, whatever that is, be comfortable. It's different than massage. Some people remove clothing for massage with Reiki. You just lay down on my biomat table. I do provide um, a blanket just to feel comfortable. I recommend that people do not wear jewelry. Um, when I am... Uh, performing the right techniques. I do not wear jewelry, jewelry myself. And just to be coming in maybe with um, a little bit relaxed, you probably don't want to come in hungover. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, but to get the most out of it, that's probably, you know, you want to be in a pretty healthy space. Um, during the session, um, many people will feel different places, um, sometimes some pressure, sometimes heat sometimes pain. Some people actually have memories or um, heightened pain sensation. And I always recommend that they tell me that so we can kind of work through that because that's part of this, the purging that's happening. And afterwards, um, some clients experience what I would call a detox. And that is where maybe their nose starts to run a little bit. They might have a little diarrhea, a um, little headache. And I just recommend drink lots of water and rest and just kind of don't don't take medications to stop that. Let that happen. Let it come out and, and get you in, a, in, in the best state that your body is working to be in. So your body is meant, meant to heal. Just let it do its thing. Right. Yes. Yes. Stop and I do, <laughs> I do want to say one of the things that fascinates me about Reiki um, is it has some principles it has five principles that you're supposed to live through and live by. And the main overarching belief about Reiki is to do no harm. So I know some people are a little afraid of it and, you know, what is this going to be do to me? And so I thought I would share the principles, which I think are fantastic ways to live. And I always have to write them down so I don't forget them. So just for today, I will give thanks for many blessings. It's the first one. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will not be angry. Just for today, I will do my work honestly. And just for today, I will be kind to my neighbor and everything living. So it's just a like, beautiful way to, to live. I wonder why they say just for today. Because that's all we've got. Oh, that's okay. the most present moment. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh -huh. I always live a little bit ahead and I need to bring me back to the present so I I could see that but my first in instinct was like why not always you know or yeah from here on out type of thing but okay just for today yeah and I think that's that statement helps keep people in the moment and when I talk to clients if, if we're going way in the future we're more anxious and if we're going way in the past we're more in depression mm -hmm. and so that's the yeah Prime moment. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. um, okay, tell us some of the other things that you have and offer in your new office. Sure. Um, well, I provide coaching. And um, if you look on my website, I love to go to school. <laughs> I love to learn. So I've done all different kinds of techniques and learning. And as I call it, both right and left brain modalities. Um, so I do, I, I combine them all 
together to do balanced soul coaching was just my style of coaching that that I do. Um, I also provide active dream work. I was trained by Robert Moss in his active school of dreaming. It took me three years um, to work with people on nightmares, dream droughts, um, just processing dreams, what you can learn from the dreams in your everyday life, synchronicity, daydreams. Um, so I, I also do some work with sleep health that's tied into that and getting people in a better rhythm of sleep so that they can recall their dreams mm. and get the benefit from them. And I do body map coaching, which is one of my favorite things. It's a combination of everything I do. I made it up basically. <laughs> it's a combination of Reiki and the dream work and coaching um, my, my understanding and anatomy of the body and uh, I have clients lay on a bed and we set an intention and then I work with the client coaching them while they're laying on the mat. And we basically design a very specific wellness plan based off the intention. Um, it's a triplicate form and I draw the body and I draw what's going on. And then we sit and process that plan. And then the client takes that home and works on that until we meet again. And hopefully that's exactly what their system wanted to shift to the next level of where they want to go. So that's, and then I do Reiki. <laughs> so that's. How, how do you uh, come up with intentions? So intentions are, usually I ask the client when they come in, like what's on the, the tip of your mind? What's the thing that is just, going on that doesn't seem to shut off or that thing that you're like, it's nagging at you. Like, I, I want to work on this. This is bothering me. And sometimes it can be as big as um, I need to change my job or it can be as subtle, but as big as um, I'm tired of being messy. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't have to be, you know, sometimes that you, they think there are these big life changing things, but some of the smaller steps make the biggest difference for, for many people. Um, and so when we work on an intention, we kind of talk it through, I coach it through until they feel it like in their solar plexus and their gut. And once we've hit it and the, the belief is that the client has the best authority on what's going on with them. So they'll have that feeling and we'll go with it once they've hit it. I like it. I just always curious, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even remember how, when I've set intentions with you, like how we even came up with that. So yeah. <laughs> Probably because I was always so relaxed, just laying there. <laughs> well, good. That's good. Oh. And, and intentions are really important. It, it sets the tone of, of, to help me gear what the client wants to take away from in the process, because we can get full you know, in lots of different directions. And then I know, I know primarily where it is we need to be working. And, and that's really helpful to me. And I think we get the best outcome that way. And have you, I don't know if you said it already, but how many years have you been working doing Reiki and body mapping? It's been quite a, quite a long time, right? Yeah. Um, I have been in health and wellness in the city and evolved in it for 35 plus years, probably mm -hmm. just in all different facets. Um, but I came into studying energy medicine probably 10 years ago. Okay. I think it was where I really, really focused on it as part of the piece of the puzzle that I felt was missing when I worked with clients. So it's been about 10 years. And you were mentioning to me that you're a Reiki master. Yes. What are the different levels? So there are three different levels um, and you're getting what's called an attunement. Um, and I can, I can tell you the, for the attunements here. I like how you just put you on the spot and ask you some yeah, I want to sure For all those other people who are in Reiki, I want to, I'm like, am I explaining it correctly? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up, Jenny. <laughs> years since I did that. Now it just comes naturally. Um, so there are three degrees in the first degree um, you're attuning to the physical level of the client of others. And when you go through this process, the, the other master, 
who's become the teacher mm -hmm. has to install those entombments into the soon to be Reiki master teacher. Okay. But it takes a while to assimilate all the information and entombment into the body of the person who's coming, becoming the master. Um, so the first is the first level of dis-ease. So you're tuning in to how you turn into a person physically. The next level is energetic and energetic healing. That's the second attunement. And the third attunement is when you're on the highest spiritual level and you're the master. And you are the you are the master, Jenny. I am a master. I'm yes, a master. you are. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a wonderful process. Um, it changed me greatly. Um, my process took about a year and a half because okay. there's some studying. There's quite a bit of studying involved, and um, but it was it was wonderful, and I'm very happy I did it. Yes, it's more than just an online class. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I wonder when I see online classes for Reiki, I'm like, how did they do that? I I don't know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us today you. and telling us all this information. We'll post your information below this. That way okay. we'll get in touch with you. Um, and if anyone has any questions for me when you see me in the office, I'd be happy to tell you my stories and kind of what I've learned over the years with Jenny too and give you a, a firsthand account of how it goes. So thank you everyone oh. for watching and thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Hillary. Thank